So, what you want to do? How about we watch some movies? Even better idea? How about I tell you a story? Um, I prefer a movie, but a story would do. Well, dang, Mia, you don't have to be so direct. I'm just telling the truth. The last story you told me, I went home thinking I was going to go a third arm when I grew up. Oh, well, this one will be better. Now, shh. <sighs> Here we go again on our Cocoa Egg Venture. Here we go. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped and torn upside down. Wait, stop. Seriously, Coco? That's the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song. Oh, well, I was just making sure that you was paying attention. But now that I see that you're here, then we can keep going. Now, shh. Hey, you girls good in here? Yep, yeah, mm -hmm, we having a good time. I'm um, just ready to tell my story to Mia. Now, Coco, we spoke about stories, right? And how not to bring them to life, correct? Uh-huh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Uh no bringing stories to life over here. Okay, good. I'll check back on you two later. Okay, she's gone. Once upon a time, not really long ago, there was a little girl named Kia. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kia was her name. Was it really? Yes, Mia. Her name is Kia. Now, shh. Okay. Kia was a sweet little girl, and she loved cookies. But her mama always tried to hide them from her. But Kia was even smarter, and she hid them from mama. Can you guess where she put them? I don't know, Coco. I guess in her pockets. Wrong. Kia put chocolate chip cookies in the closet under her stuffed animals, and each night she would eat one. But then one night, it was really dark, and there was a glow coming from the closet. I'm not bringing this to life too much, am I? Okay, no, okay, all right, good. So anyway, the light began to get brighter and brighter and brighter. Kia wanted a cookie so bad out the closet, but she was scared to get it. But the light got brighter. And at this point, Kia couldn't go to sleep because it was shining in her face. So she took little steps to the closet, nice and slow. One, two, one, two, one. I don't want to hear anymore. Okay, I'll take it back. Keep going. She slowly opens the door, and there it was. It was a big, wet monster sitting with her legs crossed eating her cookies. Kia was scared, but she was mad. So her and Mr. Monster Man had some wars with each other. But Kia backed down once he said, Roar! And because she backed down, that's why monsters now live in all kids' closets. Really? Mm -hmm. But there is a way to get rid of them. You want to know how? Yes, please. First, fix your face. How you gonna scare a monster if you look scared of him? Oh, right. You're right. Oh, okay. I guess that's better. Okay, second, you have to clap three times. Okay, stop smiling. You're scaring me. Now puff your cheeks out three times. One, two, three. Okay, last one. You have to quack like a duck. This part right here will get rid of that monster forever. I mean, that monster's never coming back. You ready? Because I'm really ready for you to get that monster out of my closet. He ate my cookies a long time ago. Are you serious, Coco? There's been one in your closet this whole time? I got this. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, say it louder, Mia. Quack, quack, quack. What is going on here? I'm on the phone and all I hear is a duck. Oh, um, Coco told me how to get monsters out of my closet. Coco, what did I tell you? Uh, don't bring the stories to life. And what did you do? Brought the stories to life. Fix your head. Tell me of the truth now. Truth? Hey, Mia. You know I love you, right? So... You know, there's no real monsters in the closet or anything. You know, I was just playing with you, but I was just telling you my story, hoping that 
you know, you can go back and tell your mama so she can tell my mama or your mama could just give me some more cookies because the monster who fake ate my cookie. You know what I'm saying? I just want some more cookies. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always in trouble with pretty pigtails and a smile that makes